will AI defy the rules of software? Because there's rules, right? Like, no, there, there's all these, these, uh, these like metrics, if you start a software company, right. Of like what you should be achieving and what's possible with, with the internet. It's a fascinating time. There's an article last week. Um, and you maybe saw this about how like the, you know, meta has been making waves of, of, you know, making these extremely expensive hires. Um, mm -hmm. and then now yeah. last week it was like, they're, they're just done, right. The software companies raised the bar on comp on their own and like the, the article was like, they're just going to kill themselves in a knife fight by just, you know, fighting over this talent, raising the bar up. And, uh, and by doing so, they're just going to kill cash flow by, by comp. You know, I did see that they had a hiring freeze on AI. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. How many billions of dollars can you possibly spend in one year on talent? Tens because of billions. I, but how many more can you spend past that, right? I don't yeah. know. You can't just infinitely spend spend money. I was thinking about this not too long ago. I think I probably graduated college at exactly the right time. Just soon enough before AI and just late enough to where I'm like close enough to like, I know exactly how to use most technology. I get a lot of things like, because nowadays, like if you have a kid that's like 14 years old and like, what, what do you want to go to college for? Like, there's a huge question mark on com computer science and computer engineering yeah. and like, what could happen there? Like maybe there aren't software jobs anymore, or yeah. maybe the software jobs that exist are like $300,000 a year senior software engineers. And there's really not a entry level role into that field. It's interesting 